Hey guys, it's Angie. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial based upon a color. Actually, my absolute favorite color in the world, which you see on my lids right now. It's a bright, vivid, kind of royal blue. The thing about this color is it's fairly hard to wear as far as makeup goes. So I'm going to show you how I kind of incorporate a neutral eyeshadow and kind of blend those two together so I can get a more wearable version and have my favorite color on my eyelids. So you can see it's kind of a smoky kind of look. If you want to do this with your own favorite color, just keep watching and I'll show you how to do it. Let's get started. To start this look off, I'm going to use a primer. This is Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion and apply that onto the lid. Now I'm going to be using this color from MAC. It's called Copper Plate. I'm going to sweep Copper Plate into my crease until it's kind of blended out. should look something like this, a little diffused on the edges. This is an aqua cream from Makeup Forever. It's number 20. And I'm just going to apply that to my lid below the crease. I'm going to use the sponge tip applicator and bend nice cosmic blue eyeshadow. Pick some of that up and then tap it onto the blue base. With this brush I'm going to blend out that blue up into the copper plate. So you can do circular motions, windshield wiper motions, just to kind of mesh those two colors together. With that same pointy brush, I'm going to take a matte navy eyeshadow. This is Meet the Fleet from MAC. Get it on the pointy end of the brush and then apply it to this outer corner. So just to darken up where those two meet and help them blend together a little more. Oh, don't make fun of this one. <laughs> this is Shroom. I'm going to use that as my highlight. And I have ordered another one of these, so you can just really tell how much I love that color. Magic. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of the navy eyeshadow again and go underneath the eye. I have to look down. I'm sorry, my mirror is down here. So. And you can put a little bit of the cosmic blue from Ben Nye kind of underneath where your iris is. If you're playing along at home, you've noticed that I have darkened my waterline with a black eyeliner. Now I'm just going to add some black mascara and just use whichever is your favorite. I thought about doing a review of mascaras. If you guys want, want to see videos on mascaras, I could do like a huge review video. Or just one mascara at a time kind of thing. That might be easier. That way I don't have to buy a bunch and open them all at once and throw them all away at once. So maybe over this year I will do like a mascara a month or something. So I did my foundation and I used Makeup Forever's HD foundation in 115. And then I did concealer. Used my It Cosmetics concealer. My Baba Under Eye concealer. And then set everything with Rimmel's Stay Matte powder. I'm going to move on to blush and I'm using Tarte's Amazonian Clay and Glisten which is a very beautiful peachy shimmery color. For highlight I'm going to be using my Illuminator from NARS in Copacabana. Just kind of a pearly kind of sheen on the skin. I'm going to use like a nude lip liner. This one is called Rosebud. And there's not a brand name on it. I got it at the makeup show in Chicago. Let's go ahead and outline the lips. And then I'm going to use CoverGirl's Romance Lipstick. Which is this color. It's kind of a pinky mauve. And all that noise you hear in the background is my fog. Cute Bowie. <laughs> Now I'm going to use Buxom's Lip Gloss in Katie, which is a peachy color. And I think this is a plumping one because it makes my lips feel extra special, if you know what I mean. Like you rub peppermint oil on your lips. Sort of. Sort of. Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you can use it with your favorite color. And um, I wish you all... 
happy fun times playing with your makeup. Otherwise, I'll see you soon, and um, thank you for watching. Bye. I wish you all happy fun times with your makeup. And I have lion hair today. I'm really excited. I've never had this much volume in my hair. It's, it's kind of scary, actually.